dream of mastering the secrets of spectacular tricks and illusions? With our new selection of tricks, you will learn to amaze and captivate even the most sophisticated spectators. For the first trick, you need a wide satin ribbon. Wrap it around your neck and sharply pull the edges. Don't panic, the ribbon freely passes through the neck. Strictly follow our instructions so you do not accidentally harm yourself. Put the ribbon around your neck. Take the middle of the right end of the ribbon with your left hand. Wind it around your neck to the left, creating a loop. Clamp the loop with the ribbon from the back. Because of the secret loop, an illusion is created that the ribbon is wrapped around your neck. Pull by the ends and get rid of the ribbon. Perhaps it is better not to demonstrate this trick to your grandmother. This trick has a scary part that will not only surprise your friends, but also make them worry about your health. A sharp pencil pierces your cheek and comes out through your open mouth. It must not be very pleasant. The secret is, the pencil just slides on the cheek and your palm serves as an excellent disguise. When the tip of the pencil passes the palm of your hand, open your mouth wide to create the illusion of passing through. For the next trick, you need a tied rope and a ring. Pass the rope through the ring. Tighten the rope ring with your thumbs. Suggest for a friend to remove the ring from the rope without removing it from your fingers. For the task, press the rope with your finger. Take the upper edge of the rope to the ring and put it on your thumb like this. Now, take the edge of the rope behind the ring and also catch it on the thumb. Remove your finger. Voila! The ring is in your hands. Let's surprise your friends with a mysterious mathematical paradox. You will need an ordinary paper box. Divide it by two lines crossed in the center like this. Cut it. Fold the square back and mark its borders with colored tape. Pull the square apart. Change the places of the parts and reassemble them. There is an empty space in the center in the form of a small square. How is this possible? That is the paradox. And now let's introduce an amazing physical experiment which is easy to make at home. You need four glasses of ordinary water. Add food coloring to the water for it to look more impressive. Leave water without impurities in one of the glasses. Stir thoroughly the contents of the glasses. Add sugar to the glasses. Put two teaspoons of sugar in the yellow water, four teaspoons into the red one, and in the green one, the most sweet, put six spoons. Stir. Begin the experiment. Collect the usual water with a syringe and pour it into a clean glass. Then, fill the syringe with yellow water and pour it into the same glass. Do the same with red and green liquids. You see that the colors do not mix with each other, but lie down in beautiful rainbow layers. The secret is that the sugar content in a liquid affects its density. The higher the density, the lower the water drops. Let's show the trick with the appearance of the ball under the cup. So you have three paper cups and the same number of balls. Put one ball on the inverted cup. Cover the top with the other cups. Knock on the pyramid of cups and raise it. The ball went through the cup and turned out to be under it. Take the same ball again, cover it with a cup, and put the second ball on the cup. Repeat the previous actions. There are already two balls under the cup. Nobody doubts that the third ball will also join its friends, cup holders. Mysticism? No tricks. The secret is that you will have not three, but four balls. Make beads from ordinary foil. Put the secret ball into a cup. The main thing is to turn it over quickly. Then, the secret ball becomes a ball, which you put on top. Then, discreetly leave it in the cup. And then, show the astonished spectators the whole trick. A fiery tornado in a glass bottle? It's easier than it seems at first glance. First, fill the bottle with liquid smoke. Remember, we already did this. For this, you need a piece of aluminum foil. Put matches and a pencil on the foil. Twist the pencil into the foil and then pull it out. Press the edge of the foil. Put the aluminum tube in the bottle and set fire to the edge with matches. Smoke beautifully drains to the bottom. Add a small amount of alcohol to the smoke. Let the alcohol spread out on the bottle walls. 
pull a match closer, the flame flares down the bottle in a spectacular tornado. Awesome reaction! A bank card soars right into your hands. What is the secret? It's all about the skill of your thumbs. Tighten the card between them. Rising and dropping your fingers create the illusion of a levitating card. Simple, but a funny trick. Let's play in a cubic illusions again. Draw three identical squares on a sheet of cardboard. Cut them out, frame the squares with a black marker. Draw points, one, three, and five. Glue a cube with a drawing inside. Stick a piece of double-sided scotch tape to the tip of your finger. Attach the cube on the scotch tape. Masterly moving your fingers, make the cube illusion move. It begins to literally soar in your hands, creating the impression of 3D. In this video, let's reveal the secret of how a huge long balloon can fit in your ear. Bring the long balloon to the ear and push it as deep as possible. The main thing is to not touch the eardrum. Look what's happened! Do you want to know the secret? For the trick to be successful, you need to pierce the balloon with something sharp, stepping back from the edge at a couple of centimeters. Inflate the balloon. Rhythmically press on it in the area of the puncture, releasing air from it. Hide the deflated balloon in your hand and cover it with your hair. The trick turned out to be very spectacular. And now, let's show a trick with a magic box. Show the audience an empty box. Fold it and scroll it around its axis several times. A red handkerchief appears in the box. This is some kind of magic. The secret of the trick lies in the correct preparation of the props. You need four paper squares. Fold them into a larger square and connect them crosswise with a decorative tape. Make three such squares. Bend the two squares in half and glue them together. This is such a box, but that is not all. Fold the box and glue the third square to it like this. It turns out to be a box transformer with a secret double bottom. Put the handkerchief in the secret bottom. Fold and open the box on the other side. Very impressive. It is time for tricks with passing through objects. Put a transparent glass on the table. Cover the glass with a playing card. Put a coin on the card. With the magical movement of the hand, the coin passes through the card and falls to the bottom of the glass. Of course, the execution of this trick was not without tricky manipulation. Make a small cut in the center of the card. The coin slips into the slot and safely gets inside the glass. And this trick with a magic match can be shown at any party. Hold a hand over the match and a part of the match disappears without a trace. One more pass by the hand and the match is fully restored. You need a regular match and a black marker. Paint the adjacent edges of the match with the marker. Paint the match on a black background. Twist the match with your finger, showing one side or the other. Simple, but very spectacular. And now you squeeze three tennis balls between your fingers and show them to the audience. Cover the balls with the palm and start to conjure. Open your hands. There are only two balls left. Where did the third one go? Cut the ball exactly in the center and show the audience only two and a half balls. It is easy to hide a half, discreetly putting it on the full ball. A little practice and the trick will work out. For the next trick, you'll need a sleeve from the toilet paper and a long balloon. Make four holes in the sleeve. Inflate the balloon. Insert the balloon into the cardboard sleeve. Pierce the balloon with a pencil. The pencil passes through the holes of the sleeve, but the balloon is not blown up. Pierce the balloon with the second pencil, and the balloon is again safe and sound. What's the catch? We did not fully inflate the balloon so that it can move freely inside the sleeve. Inserting the pencil into the hole, we move the balloon to the opposite wall of the sleeve. A pencil passes by the balloon, and it remains intact. Did you like our video? Which of the tricks are you going to repeat? Piercing your cheek with a pencil, passing a ribbon through your neck, or a fiery tornado in a bottle? Let us know in the comment section. Subscribe to Troom Troom Select. Put your thumbs up on this video and don't forget to hit the bell button to be the first to see our new videos.